Hey, what's up you guys, Blackwing K here with another Genshin Impact video. Welcome to the conclusion to Tatara Tales. At the time that I'm recording this, I don't know how this is gonna end, but I'm expecting big things by the end of this quest. I mean, it did take, in my, in my case, it took more than seven days to complete. Now hear me out, hear me out before we begin with this. Uh, most likely you're watching this after the fact that I've completed this, um, after the version 2.1 uh, trailer. You're probably watching this way after that, and I do apologize for that, but uh, I did get delayed in the recording processes, which is why, you know, it took me more than the actual seven days. I knew it was going to be difficult, I knew it was going to have a busy weekend, I knew I was going to have some busy days to come up, and then, you know, the vacation that I have uh, currently planned for the upcoming week. But yeah, you're most likely watching this after version 2.1, I hope everybody uh, enjoyed my reaction to that as well. So, yeah, so Tatara Tales, I do hope that there's something, uh, at least a big payoff in the end for all this preparation, like maybe a big battle against the Fatui at the end, I'm expecting something like that, or maybe something similar to the Kazari quest, where maybe something is about to happen to the furnace, maybe I have to defend the furnace from being destroyed, and the Tatarigami presence is increasing, and one other thing that I really do expect out of this entire quest is to finally be able to explore Tatarasuna or Kanazuka, you know, that whole area where the Mikage Furnace is at without having to be, you know, having to run over to a Electro Granum for, a, you know, protection against the Tatarigami, you know, at the end of this, that's what I'm expecting, that hopefully we'll be able to purify the whole area and we won't have to be running around back and forth every second to protect ourselves from the Tatarigami. Although, you know, it's going to be something I'm going to miss at the end of the day, but, you know, it, it can be taxing, it can be a little challenging, and it can be just playing annoying to having to run around, you know, Yashiori Island was one thing, the Eternal Tempest, Bail Thunder, and the Tatarigami, but the, the Tatarigami is still there, but the Bail Thunder is no longer there after the Orobashi's Legacy World Quest, so thank goodness for that, you know, but I do miss it, I do miss the Eternal uh, Tempest that was there, because that's basically, uh, what you call it, like, that's paradise for cryo users, who knows, even for fire users as well, uh, power users, you know, vaporize, you can get that, or, yeah, reverse vaporize, I guess you would call it, but, it, permafreeze was the best, man, Ganyu lived on that island, and so did Ayaka, but, yeah, so, those are the things I'm expecting by the end of this world quest, again, at the time of recording, I'm not yet at the end, but this is all gonna be compiled into one video, so most likely day six and seven are here, and wrapping up Tatara Tales. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this little journey here. I know this is basically like the filler content on my channel before we get to the next big things and version 2.1 trailer uh, should drop in about four days from the time I'm recording. But again, when you're seeing this, that's already been done and dealt with. Anyway, uh, without further ado, that's it. I'm not going to hold you here any longer. This video is probably not going to be as long as the other ones, but at the end, I never know. The last day could be an hour long, like, you know, the first day was over an hour for me. So, let's go. Let's get right into the conclusion of Tatara Tales. Alright, how many times have I started the video off like this, where I'm just flying from the same location to get to this guy? Okay, so I thought this thing would have changed, but it looks the same as before. Uh, if you don't remember last time, I think the last thing we did was give him the three Oni Kabuto, and that was it. But, that's it. Uh, this quest is now titled Tatara Tales final preparations so whatever we do here will finally lead into the final day where everything goes down so i'm really excited for that but yeah here's my yoimiya level 89 i finally ascended her just not too long ago uh by collecting all of the knockaweed in the area plus the ones from my um teapot i've actually been farming knockaweed on my teapot and the ones that you can buy on inazuma city which is only five but you know with the help of all of that yoimiya is finally almost level 90 uh, you know, I just left her 89 for now, but let's go. Xavier, I'm back. Day 5, guys. Day... No, day 6. This is day 6. Ha! Ah, magnificent! The test went very smoothly indeed. The Oni Kabuto have been completely purified. Well then, <laughs> let's... All we need to do now is to plan our route inside. And we can begin in earnest. However, we must avoid those Fatui. It seems that we'll have to take the long way. This thing is rather bulky, so it would be best for us to ensure that there are smooth paths for us to take as we move it inside. As such, I'd like you to re-enter the Mikage Furnace to investigate. If you encounter any broken paths, please help to restore them a little. Oh, so we're going to be restoring 
Any broken paths in there? That's actually pretty interesting. I have yet to decide our route, but having more roads open to us could not hurt. Surely. I'm no expert in fixing roads, you know. You don't have to restore them. Well, perfect reliability. Just place a layer of wooden planks down so that you can move this device across. That sounds very unsafe, actually. Ah, you can just grab some wooden planks from nearby. I'll remain here to try to make our machine as reliable as it possibly can be. So we just basically have to gather some wood. Uh, Alright, I'm down for that. Oh, great. Of course it had to be protected. By the Fatui! Alright, here we're gonna we're gonna wipe them out real quick. Uh switch to Ayaka. I didn't mean to do that, but actually I kinda did mean to do that, but it's fine. There we go, come on, finish her off quickly. And we got her, we got her. Wait, somebody's missing. Who's still alive? And why are they after me? What? How did she live? This is in mage, I swear. I didn't even know how she escaped. How did she escape all the way down there, man? That is... She is so annoying. Especially when it's like you have to be over here. Uh, oh, there's more places to investigate? Oh, I guess more roads. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy, let's go up there. Alright, this took a bit, but I'm finally here. Oh, we're actually restoring it. Yo, that's pretty dope. That's actually pretty dope, because, you know, that's... It's actually going to be very convenient for us in the future when we have to come back here. And the next area to fix is way down there. Damn, with just one piece of wood, we did all that. Thank you, Sayu. Because of Sayu, I was actually able to get those uh, crystal flies much easily. Oh, the Fatui are here. Of course. I didn't spawn them in before because I actually flew in. Uh, I went to like that one teleport waypoint all the way at the top. And I made my way down. Uh, this one is right over here. I'm assuming there's gonna be more Fatui to spawn. But, uh, let's see how this works out, because I might have to beat them up in order to be able to fix the bridge if I do trigger them in. Alright, looks like we're good. Looks like we are good. Uh, that should be the ending right there, right? Crystal Flies! More Crystal Flies. And now we gotta report back to Xavier! Let's go! Oh, Xavier! I have returned uh, with some good news. Alright then, have you checked our roads? They're as smooth as can be now. Alright, then let's set off after a brief wait. Hey, are you? He's scared! He's scared of doing this. I I'm thinking! I'm thinking of all the things that could possibly happen, you understand? For example, what we'll do if those masked lunatics have already extracted the core when we enter. They might shove it into some ruin guard, causing it to go berserk and send us offline. Now that's a nightmare, please, please none of that. No ruin hunter, greater, uh, guard, or any of those sentinels, uh, you know, whatever they're, they're called, destroyers, defenders. Or maybe some sort of elemental creature might emerge as we are purifying the Mikage Furnace and might devour the core in a single bite. Now that I do kind of want to happen, except the whole devouring the uh, Mikage Furnace, that's not very cool, but yeah, I'd like to see a special creature spawn in there. And in the worst case scenario, that legendary serpent might use this opportunity to resurrect itself. Then we'd be doomed! It'd be game over! Game over! <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Xavier, come on! Ah, um, I'm sorry, I... My old habits are acting up again. I always envisage the worst case scenarios. I'll make some plans, and once the time comes, let us go put an end to this, finally. Please go well. Please go well. Please go well. And I guess that's it for day number six. Yeah, so seven... Seven days in total that it takes to complete this. Seven... IRL days, actually, you know, not, let's not count the Genshin days. The Genshin days goes like that, but IRL days, you know, 24 hours per day, do something else, come back to Xavier. So that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. I guess we can go ahead and jump over to the final day and wrap up Tata the Tales completely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally ready here for the final act of Tata the Tales. This is day number seven, 
And we're ready to conclude this. I'm back with Yoimiya and my purple Sealy. The purification device, backup components, a map of our route, and the data from our beacons. I believe that's everything. Hold on. Let me check my memo and see if anything is missing. Beacon data, route map, backup components, purification device. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Let's go, Xavier. We got this. Don't worry. M my apologies. This is my first time entering this area. Usually, my realm is logistics and data. And at the most, I would operate machines remotely. Ugh. I'm really in over my head this time. It's like trying to drive a duck up a ramp. Wait, what? It's like trying to drive a duck up a ramp. Have you ever heard of that Leela saying? I've never heard of that. It basically means asking someone to do something beyond their ability. Though I'm not sure what's so difficult about getting a duck up a ramp. Yeah, you got me there. Don't don't come at me with these Leo idioms or terms if you don't know it yourself. Come on. <clears throat> ah, ducks. Such elegant, gentle creatures. The sight of them gliding slightly along the Mirachine waters of Fontaine comes to mind most strikingly at this moment. Uh, Alright, let's go. If this device works normally, it should be able to constantly purify the Tatarigami energy in a small area around it. This way we should be able to enter the Disaster Zone together. We'll stick to our previous plan. You deal with the Fatui and I deal with the Mikage Furnace. Let's go! Alright, finally! Let's do this, screen went dark, he finally moved from this spot, my goodness, Xavier, you genius, you man-man from Fontaine, you finally moved, didn't you? So, uh, where'd he go? I didn't even mark it, okay, there we go, okay, he went up there, so let me just go on and, uh, teleport up there. Once again, my hopes for the end of this quest line is to finally be able to explore this area without, you know, worrying about the Tatarigami and whatnot. Oh, good heavens. This is my first time entering this sort of place without any protective measures. Oh, gotta get a good look at you. Still, we've actually made it here. So, that what if, what if my character dies in the middle of this dialogue? I actually don't want to find that out. I don't even have Lumine on my party, so I think, we, I think we're good. Still, we've actually made it here, so that is good. In fact, it's great! Almost beyond my estimations. Sure you weren't setting them too low? And what were those estimations? In my estimation, this cobbled together fellow here would have failed us halfway through. <laughs> Afterward, I would have been rendered unconscious by the Tatarigami energy. Well, either that or because I'd scared myself silly. Oh my goodness, you poor soul. Either way, I kept a small piece of paper in my right trouser pocket. As long as you followed those steps, you'd be able to take, uh, take me to safety outside. Wait. Did I tell you about that piece of paper? Not at all. Ah, uh, right. Well, never mind. Now you know. Alright. I'll check the device one more time, and we can continue. And, uh, Xavier starts examining it. Ah, curses! Curses! <sighs> Have things developed as per your expectations? Well, I wouldn't say so precisely. It seems like we're now missing about one... Two, three components. They're not key parts, so the device is still working. But if we wish to proceed, we have to find a way to get them back. These components should all be, uh, still be on the path we took to get here. Please help me look for them. I'll be here waiting. Got it. Alright. I'll leave it up to you then. I'll be waiting for you here. Is he okay though, with the whole Tatarigami energy? Uh, so what do we have to search for? How do we even get here? Oh, uh, okay, so we were literally down. Oh, I get it. Okay, this is not cool, actually. Can I, like, fling this guy? There you go, goodbye. And I'll take care of this guy over here. There you go, Yoimiya. I was gonna use Sayu to finish him off. Alright, we don't have a tree here, but I think we're still good. That was one, 
two. Hey, hey, who's here? You could come back. <laughs> Yo, hey, you gotta love Gene. You gotta love Gene and the Yeet. And the Yeetus. Gene with the Yeetus. All right, Xavier, I'm back. Ah, you're back. Have you found all the components? I did. Uh, three packages here for you, Xavier? Bravo! Right, I shall repair it immediately. Let me see, this component goes here. Xavier begins the repair work. That should do the trick. Phew, let's continue onward. I know of a spot that shall be most ideal for a final check. A final check? This is both the key step and our proudest moment as a team. Any product must undergo a final phase of tests before it can be released into the market. I mean, those few components did come loose earlier. If we don't check the device again, I cannot help but feel uneasy. Alright, let's proceed, shall we? Come on, let, let's go, let's go, I'm ready for the action. Whatever it is that's waiting for me in this quest, at the end of it here, I'm ready for it, let's go. Okay, so we gotta go across now? Alright, for a second there, I was worried that the Kairagi would spawn again. Because I really didn't want to deal with them right now. Again, like, I can come here and play with the rest of the enemies when we're done with the Tatarigami, okay? I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Alright. Nothing dropped this time, right? Okay, good. It seems not. Uh, this is where we're conducting the final check? Indeed! This is the place! Let's turn our purification device up to full strength right here. However... I must warn you that it can get just a teensy bit noisy when operation at full power. That's fine. I believe that this might displease our Fatui friends. Oh, okay, so it's basically going to be like a wave fight. Like we have to defend this area while we turn on this machine and start with the whole purification. Gotcha. It might displease our Fatui friends around the Mikage Furnace ever so slightly. Do you understand what I mean? I'll take care of them. Indeed, what an excellent division of labor. Now... Allow me to start it up. Let the final check begin! And let the- I guess this is where the battle of the furnace is happening. Alright, you guys, can I- Oh, you guys are attacking it? Why? That makes no sense. Let's go, Yoimiya! Do, 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 this is what I mean, man. Yoimiya is a freaking machine gun. There we go. Oh, that's it? That was all we needed? Thankfully, she didn't really attack the uh, thing here. It was only the other Fatui skirmishers, I guess, that attacked it. The Mirror Maiden stayed all the way over there. <coughs> Those lawless lunatics! Try them in court, I say. Try them! This guy is too funny. Uh, where were you hiding the whole time? Uh, most... A uh, most safe spot. <laughs> but let's get back on topic. According to the data that the beacon in my hand just gathered, the energy level in this area has fallen greatly. Wait a second, is this guy getting sick from the Tataregami? Because he's coughing now. Based on that current state of our device and its performance, I would say it passes the final check. Now we can truly get down to business. Let's head to the spot where the real work can begin. It's time to finish this. Finally! Let's go! It's gonna be under the Mikage furnace, right? That's like the most suitable place to end this, right? Please don't notice me. Please don't notice me. No! No! This! Get this! I figured it was going to be over there. It, honestly, it's the most fitting spot to end this at. I've long since did the challenge here as well, so... Yeah, nothing to distract us anymore. This is the this is the spot. The part of the Mikage furnace that, that stores the core is right above us. My data also indicates that the concentration of Tatarigami here is also the highest. I can imagine that. Right below the furnace? Yeah. As long as this area can be settled, the Mikage Furnace's systems can start running again, which will return everything to normal. Finally, we're at this step. I must say, I quite have liked to use my film camera to record our actions here. It's a shame that you can't. 
It's alright. I can find some people to reenact the events that transpired here. Ooh, you're gonna do a big play in uh, Fontaine? Yo, I better see that play out. When we get to Fontaine, I better see some kind of big theater or maybe an amphitheater and have this whole thing play out and whatnot. I doubt that Sumeru's gonna have something like an amphitheater. I'm just really just talking out of my head and whatnot. But yeah, that would be pretty cool. The name of this film. Hmm. Now, I've heard that the Inazumans often call their stories something something tales. Oh, the Tatara Tales! And such a fitting name for this film would be Tatara Tales. Bravo! Yes! Tatara Tales it shall be. So that's why this quest is called Tatara Tales. Nice. Alright then, you know the drill, Traveler. I'll handle the Fatui. And I'll deal with the Mikage Furnace. <laughs> this exchange between us will surely become an iconic moment in the film. We'll, well, start the device once you're ready. Then let's give the Tatara Tales the perfect ending it deserves. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Start. Oh, we have Electro Seelies here as well. Oh, okay. Need some healing real quick. Do that. Sayu, please come out here with the heals. Oh my god. Wait, I can pick up Sayu's thing with the animal? That's pretty dope. No! How did I get caught by this? How did I- what's going on here? <laughs> oh wait, that's it? Yo, I was completely immersed in that fight. I lost Sayu as well, not only Yo and Mia. Uh, it was kind of tough, yeah, with everything going on at once. I should have probably brought my main DPS party and not my friendship party. So that's it? Oh no, we gotta talk to Xavier. Yo, that's it! Yo, look at the thing though, look at the HP on this thing. It was almost done, I thought I had failed. When the screen went dark, I'm like, oh, I guess I'm done. <laughs> oh boy. That was something. Sayu, please come back to me. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Jean's heals were taking forever to come, and I, you know, I didn't expect that. Anyway, Xavier, we're finally done. It's... it's finally over. The Mikage Furniture have resumed operation. Let's head to the top and see what the situation is like. I would have liked it if you would have teleported me up there automatically, you know what I mean? But it's fine. It's fine. Damn, but look, it's done. The Tatarigami is no more. I can finally explore this area up and down without having to worry about like running left and right every couple of seconds because you know, Tatarigami and whatnot. I'm finally free to explore this without worries. The Tatarigami here has thinned out so much as to be harmless. Looks like the Mikage Furnace is back in business. If those Fatui want to get their hands on the Tatarigami energy, then the only way they can do it now is to use those cannons to fire the Mikage Furnace directly. Ooh, that, don't give him any ideas, Xavier, please. But since that would be tantamount to an act of war, I doubt they would do it, no matter how insane they might be. Oh, ho, 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 they've done worse. They really have done worse. I suppose you refer to those incidents in Liyue and Mondstadt? I personally feel that given the Mikage Furnace's value, I doubt that it would be worth for them to resort to such drastic measures. Regardless, the Mikage Furnace is safe for now. So neither we nor this island's treasures are about to get blown sky high anytime soon. I'm looking forward to watching Tatara Tales, yeah, that's right. I'll be sure to do justice to your image through this film. I might also have to hone my craft a little by making a few short films. But of course, this is all talk for later. That soldier named Toranosuke promised me com commensurate remuneration for completing this task. Let's return now and claim our commensurate remuneration. I don't know why that word is funny to me. Commensurate. Commensurate remuneration. 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 From our fine soldier friend. That's gonna be back at the Kujo encampment, right? Yo, but finally, yes! Tatarigami is free, we're done. I wonder if that affects Yashiori Island as well. Because you know Yashiori Island, which is not far from here, it has that whole area uh, that still has like excess electro 
I think that area is still going to be affected by excess electro, though. Because that was where this great serpent fell. Anyway, let's go see what Toranosuke finally has to say to us. I guess Miyuki is out of this quest line. Alright, Toranosuke, we're done. The Mikage Furnace is back to normal already, huh? Oh, you already knew? Your deeds of the Mikage Furnace have already been reported to me. Why didn't you help out more directly, then? Well, I should have said, why are you letting the Fatui run amok? That would have been better. I cannot take action without orders for Sir Hambe. Alright, alright. I imagine that our good man here must have his fair share of troubles. What with having a superior who values rigorous process so highly and all. What's more, I suspect that our previous actions only went over so smoothly due to the aid of this Mr. Hanbei. And of course, it's not as if the soldier was of no help to us at all. After all, those few doors? Thank you for your help, Mr. Xavier. <coughs> well, it was mainly the work of this traveler. If not for them, I doubt I would have achieved anything at all. Is that so? Thank you, Traveler. I apologize for my previous attitude towards you. Thank you again for protecting this island. <laughs> Just doing my part. Wait, you're... a blonde Traveler? Just a moment. I think I remember that. The Mikage Furnace is safe now! Hooray! <laughs> huh? Well, yes. Regardless, I'd like to thank you all for your help. Okay, so I actually read a comment about this. Uh, that if you actually complete uh, the Archon quest that's currently available, Act 2, and you know, you become wanted by the Shogunate, and do this quest then, this uh, Toranosuke is going to be like, Wait a second, Blonde Traveler, I think I know you. <laughs> so I, I'm guessing that the dialogue would have been different had I done this before completing the Archon quest, but you know. Maybe I'll have to look it up to see what was different. Anyway. Well, Traveler, look at you. Now, now, don't be so humble. If it weren't for you, I would have been stuck outside just watching events play out. However, I do have a question for you, Mr. Soldier. I recall you telling me previously that your most rigorous superior had to return to the city to hand in those most complicated documents. I imagine that was a terribly grueling ordeal. But now that the Mikage Furnace has returned to normal, I wonder where he might be. Hmm. Well, as to what Sir Hanbei is busy with, one of our superiors, a man named Mikoshi Genjiro, came by earlier to ask me for a detailed report. After listening to my report, Sir Mikoshi Genjiro became quite interested in this matter. According to what he said afterwards, our mutual superiors... I've also found Sir Hanbei's work ethic to be quite praiseworthy. They have thus decided to appoint Sir Hanbei to the post of foreign attaché to Sumeru. What? Wait, can I can I read this again? Can I read this again? See, it's bits like these that you can actually miss out during the story if you're not really paying attention and whatnot. You know, keywords. Keywords appear and they just like beam like high beams in my eyes. So they have thus decided to appoint Sir Hanbei to the post of foreign attaché, attaché, to Sumeru. So, wait, so Inazuma basically lends guards over to different nations or something? Is that what I'm getting off of this? I have heard that he will be staying there, ensuring that the most vital supply line of mushrooms between Inazuma and Sumeru shall remain open and smooth. Wait a second. Oh, so it's just like a trade route. Okay, so I guess that makes sense that you would see some soldiers between countries and whatnot to ensure trade routes like this, for example. All right. Wow. So he'll be bringing mushrooms to Inazuma, eh? Wait, so did he just run away? Did he run away from his responsibilities here in Inazuma? Is that what happened? My guy, Hanbei, come on. Indeed, making sure that the mushrooms make it to Inazuma tables is the work of utmost importance. Most suited to one such as Sir Hanbei. Sir Hanbei is presently awaiting orders in the city. Waiting for the right time to set off. Okay, so he technically didn't run away yet because if he was already in Sumeru, then he ran away. <laughs> ah, that's wonderful. Good for him. Still, having lost such a fine gentleman, 
However, shall we fill the gaping void that is now vacant post? I recommended a few people suited to the job. It was decided that a craftsman named Yosuke would be in charge of all future maintenance work in the Mikage Furnace. Ah, okay, I get it now. I'm, I'm starting to understand now. So it wasn't really much of the responsibilities and whatnot, but it was the Mikage Furnace in general. That's what he's no longer going to be working on. Ah, that sets my heart at ease. But still, let us not speak of that anymore. Now then, Mr. Soldier, please give me my share of the remuneration to this traveler as well. Wait, what? Please give my share of the remuneration to this traveler? So you're not going to take anything out of this? You did some work too, Xavier. Well, yes, I did do the rest of the work, fending off the Fatui and whatnot, gathering literally everything for the past seven days. A little more than that in my case, but, you know, please forgive me on that. But you're not going to take anything, dude? It's fine. We could split it. 50-50. Ah, yes, traveler. This is also for you. Please take it. This is a blueprint that I previously purchased from a certain craftsman. Wait, which blueprint was I missing? I got the sword. I got the pole arm. I got the bow. I think I got the claymore. And I got the catalyst. Wait, so I didn't get the claymore then. I had plans to bring this blueprint back to my homeland as a souvenir. But it seems that I shall be staying in Inazuma for a while. I doubt that I'll be returning anytime soon. So, I'll give it to you as a gift. Thank you so much, Xavier. You are an awesome man from Fontaine. A genius. A genius from Fontaine. <laughs> You're most welcome, my friend. You've been a great help to me. Please allow me to invite you as my first viewer when I finish Tatara Tales. Of course, yo, front row seats. You better not forget me, Xavier. Oh, and I have another simple favor to ask. Oh, the job's not done? Oh, okay, so I did get it. I did. He gave me furniture. He gave me furniture. Wait, are we not done with him yet? Where's he at? He said he had another favor to ask, but... Uh, he's gone. They're all gone. Toronosuke's gone. Miyuki was long gone. I actually did that quest already, which I actually planned to include it here, but I feel like it would have been too much filler for this uh, whole video sets and whatnot, so... I did that in my own time. It was basically... It had to do with the Sakura... The sacred Sakura trees that... Uh, the murdering trees. The murderous lightning trees. That's what I'm trying to say here. But, uh, yeah, so... I guess we're done here. I might actually go back to see if Xavier's back at his old spot. He said he had another favor, but... I mean, we're pretty much done with the Tatara Tales. Nope. Xavier is nowhere to be seen. That's kind of sad, actually. Oh, there's a Fatui. There's the Fatui I left alive up there. Because I kept yeeting him off of the place. So he's kind of just alive there. All right. Uh, wow, that kind of ended sort of... I actually wanted a bit more information from there. You know, Xavier was a good guy in the end. And, you know, much respect. Great inventor. I do believe it. Great inventor. Uh, this is actually... That was very good exposition as well as a sneak peek to Fontaine and the characters of Fontaine and what they do. We know that uh, Fontaine is the nation at, of justice, but apparently great inventors and engineers come from Fontaine as well, as they have invented many great things that we see all around in uh, Tavat. So far that we've seen in Mondstadt, Dragonspine, Leela, and now Inazuma. So yeah, Fontaine is a great place, and I can't wait till we finally get there. We've also been getting many hints of Sumeru, which, you know, Sumeru should be the next nation we actually go to. And, uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it for Tatara Tales. I actually wanted to see Xavier one last time, at least to talk to him, you know, like the post-quest uh, conversation and whatnot that we usually get with some characters and some playable characters as well. All right, final thing I wanted to check was this, and, yeah, the excess Electro over here at Yashiori Island is still a thing, so that's actually, I think this makes sense as well, again, because this is where the Great Serpent fell, uh, where Ball struck it and split the island in two. So this place is probably going to stay here with the Excess Electro for a long time. Alright guys, and that is it. That was Tatara Tales. So we've done parts 1, 2, and this was the final one, which included day 6 and 7. If not day 5, I don't, I don't even remember. I know I started this recording and whatnot, but I don't remember what days have, has actually been included here. But yeah, that was it. All of Tatsada Tales has finally been concluded. Um, definitely the longest quest in the game by far. 
uh, involving multiple days that you actually have to dedicate to it. And of course, like I said, it didn't take me a full week. It actually took me much longer than a week to complete this because of, uh, you know, I had things to do on certain days. My weekends were closed and a lot of things happening in real life, you know? You already know the deal, right? Despite a couple of days being just like basically give him three Crystal Marrow, give him three Oni Kabuto, give him this, give him that, or, you know, make some teensy bits of preparations, locking it behind days and whatnot. I mean, I get it, it is what it is, but I guess, you know, it could have been fleshed out a little more to do at least a little more per day so that you just don't feel like you logged in just to do three minutes talking to him give him only kabuto okay see you tomorrow bye thank you for the only kabuto i'm like what come on at least send me out there to fight some mobs or something or maybe do something a little more or you know uh fleshing it out but maybe reducing the number of days either way i still had fun with it you know it was actually very fun. It reminded me of back in the day where I used to actually make a lot more gaming videos and I had to, you know, sit down, turn on the camera, turn on the game and whatnot. Now I just go at my own pace, really. As you can tell that, you know, I've had my days where I do my daily uploads and I have my days where I stick to like one to two uploads a week or per two weeks. So things have definitely changed now. So logging in on a daily basis, uh, recording on a daily basis has actually been pretty fun. So now that this is done, I can actually work on uh, bigger things that I've actually been cooking in the background in terms of theory or digging uh, In regards to you know, what's gonna what to expect in 2.1 2.1 is actually uh, well Actually, I'm sorry about that. By the time you're watching this the uh, version uh, 2.1 trailer Will have already come out and I will have have already reacted to it uh, This is pre this is past Blackwing that you're looking at here right now. It is currently August 17th uh, the version 2.1 trailer should drop on August 20th, but again, by the time you're seeing this video, uh, that trailer will already have gone and I've already made my videos and whatnot. So basically, whatever I'm cooking, you're probably already seeing it, or you have seen it already. So yeah, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. A lot of you that are watching uh, my videos or that, you know, have come to my channel, watch some of my videos, are actually not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications as well so you do know when I do upload these videos or when I come out with the premieres and also my Twitch, Tuesdays, twitch.tv slash blackwingk, catch me live, you know, we can hang out, I'm still trying to do the world quests in Inazuma, I'll focus on that, we have events to do as well, I still haven't done the Theater Mechanicus event, but yeah, uh, Tuesdays, twitch.tv, blackwingk, catch me live. And that's going to be it. It is Blackwing K, and I'm signing out. I hope you guys have an awesome one, and I'll catch you in the next Genshin Impact video. All right? Bye.